I have these two sentences. They warned him about the storm, yet he went out. Or, Pawan's jealous brother tried to ruin his plans, still he succeeded. Now, what is a word that we could use to express a situation like this? We use the word of contrast to show that something has to overcome something else in order to happen. In fact, a contrast connective. And we have such connectives to show a contrast and they are despite and in spite of. Hello and welcome. I am Archana Kalele from Good to Excellence. We are your online partner to learn IELTS, TOEFL, PTE, CELPIP and English communication. Call on displayed numbers for your learning needs. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. Today, our lesson is on transition words. What are you going to learn? How to use these words in sentences? Where should we give a comma if we use these words while writing? Can we use them with a gerund? And what's a gerund? Let's explore. First, check how despite is used in sentences. Despite the police, the protesters continued their rally. See the contrast here. The police was there, but the protesters weren't scared. Contrast. Now, the next sentence. Tom had opposed the proposal, but Mary went ahead despite his opposition. So, Tom didn't like it. Tom wasn't in favor of it, but Mary went ahead. The contrast. He had an ice cream despite his sore throat. He knew that after eating ice cream, his throat will go bad, but still he had it, right? So, there is a contrast. So, we are using despite there. Now, in the same examples, we will use in spite of. In spite of the police, the protesters continued their rally. Tom had opposed the proposal, but Mary went ahead in spite of his opposition. He had ice cream in spite of his sore throat. The second thing to learn is despite and in spite of are followed by a noun and pronoun. We will go back to the previous examples to check it. Despite the police, the protesters continued their rally. So, after despite, what we have used here? The police, that's a noun. He had an ice cream despite his sore throat. Despite his sore throat. So, despite his, his is a pronoun. The same thing applies to in spite of. In spite of the police, the protesters went or continued their rally. That in spite of the police, the police, noun, he had ice cream in spite of his sore throat. So, of his sore throat, the pronoun. Now, the next fact about despite and in spite of is they may be followed by a gerund or gerund phrase. Are you wondering what is a gerund? So, a gerund is an ing verb that behaves like a noun. For example, singing is Jan's passion. Singing is a verb but acts as a noun. That is the name of an action like singing or dancing. Examples of despite and in spite of with a gerund phrase. Despite having learnt German, he had difficulty communicating with people in Germany. 
so despite having learnt german having learnt german is a gerund phrase he lost his way despite knowing the city roads so well knowing the city road again we have used a gerund phrase here after despite i made many mistakes in the test despite studying hard for it despite studying hard for it so studying is a gerund here we can replace despite with in spite of in the same sentences in spite of having learnt german he had difficulty communicating with people in germany he lost his way in spite of knowing the city roads so well i made many mistakes in the test in spite of studying hard for it now the next thing with despite and in spite of is we can use these two transition words with the fact that we will check it in examples despite the fact that her heart was breaking she smiled at him the next sentence we are using it in in spite of in spite of the fact that her heart was breaking she smiled at him now let's check how to use comma the children splashed muddy water over each other despite a warning from their mother the part in red is an independent or strong clause an independent clause can stand alone as a sentence it conveys the full meaning and when we introduce a sentence with a strong clause with an independent clause we do not need a comma before despite that's the reason in this sentence we haven't used comma the children splashed muddy water over each other despite a warning from their mother now let's start the same sentence with the weak or dependent clause despite a warning from their mother comma the children splashed muddy water over each other in this case we need to put a comma after the dependent clause now there's another way to write the same sentence the children comma despite a warning from their mother comma splashed muddy water over each other now let's write the same sentence without the highlighted clause the children splashed muddy water on each other the meaning of the sentence has not changed we used the clause despite a warning from their mother to give the reader an extra information and such a clause or phrase is called parenthetical when despite comes in the middle of a sentence we need to check whether it is essential or non essential if it is extra or non essential use a comma before and after the clause clear the same rule applies to in spite of we will check one previous example with in spite of in spite of a warning from their mother comma the children splashed muddy water over each other in this case we need to put a comma after the dependent clause please remember in spite of is always followed by of despite the police the protesters continued their rally our previous example that is correct but if we use it like this despite of the police it is incorrect the same thing with in spite of in spite of the police the protesters continued their rally that's correct but if we use it in spite the police the protesters continued their rally incorrect so that was despite and its first cousin in spite of let's sum up 
despite is a preposition that acts as a contrast connective we use despite before a noun or pronoun we use despite with a gerund phrase or clause that is ing verbs the name of something that you do we also use despite the fact that before an action that brought a contrasting result here is an example showing how to use it in all three ways despite the prediction of storm the plane took off something prediction of storm something despite receiving a storm prediction the plane took off name of some action despite the fact that a storm had been predicted the plane took off an action when we start the sentence with a despite clause we put a comma after that when we place the despite clause later a comma is not required when we use the despite clause to give extra information we place it between commas they fell despite being careful despite being careful dependent clause comma they fell they despite being careful fell despite and in spite of have identical uses we must be careful not to omit of with in spite so it's a quiz time now pause your video and join these sentences to make a single sentence using despite the first one is done for you well i hope you found our lesson useful do leave us your comment in the comment section and recommend us to your friends that means like and share the video please subscribe for more videos and press the bell icon to get notified bye stay safe and i will see you in the next video till then bye